Hey, what's happening guys? It has been a wild weekend here in Ohio. First of all, Friday, I uh, slipped on the ice and now I get to wear this. Isn't that beautiful? The boot. X-rays show nothing is broken, but now I have to go and see a specialist to see what, uh, what exactly I tore because basically I can't walk. I can't put any weight on it at all. Uh, to add to the more fun, uh, Saturday, my mother called me to tell me she doesn't have any heat. So we called the uh, HVAC guy who came in, and uh, it's some sort of motor in the front of the furnace called an inducer. Uh, the bearing is all worn out. He put some oil on it, says I can't get a motor until Tuesday. So it worked fine yesterday. Today is Monday. Uh, she calls me this morning to tell me she hasn't had any heat all night. That's the kind of weekend I've had. But you've heard enough about that. Today we're going to take a look at this. This is the Finercy model FNB48. This is one of those little USB guys. Called a USB doctor or whatever. It reminds me a lot of this one that I looked at a couple years ago. Although on here, we have a, uh, a jog wheel with a button. We have a button here. Uh, power switch there. That's interesting. I haven't seen one with a power switch before. So, let us plug it in. And we'll see what there is to see. I'm going to turn out a couple of these lights because it is... Uh, too bright and you guys aren't gonna be able to see what's going on there one moment please there you go you guys can see that better now now I've got this hooked up to one of these uh, loads and I'm just pulling 10 milliamps just enough to keep the power bank alive it's obviously got some sort of accelerometer in it because as you can see if I tilt it one way or another, it rotates, which is pretty neat. So what we're looking at here is a graph of the current and the voltage. If I press the button, it pauses it and press it again and it plays. Move over to the next screen. And this one says cable management, which is very interesting. Next screen just showing us volt, amps, and watts. All right, this one we have our volt, amps, watts, and we have a curve. We have group. We have amp hours and watt hours. This will be good for testing your batteries. We have minimum, maximum, and average. Trigger time. It's interesting. Now this one's showing us the protocol that it's using, which says the Apple 2.4 amp protocol. Pressing the button there does nothing, and then we're back to this screen. So basically this is simply um, showing us a graph or some other information about the power that is going through it, volts, amps, and watts. I'm going to take a quick look at the manual here, see if I can bring it up on the screen, and let's, uh, let's take a look at that and see if there's any features that are going on here that we're missing out on. Alright, so here's the manual, and we're taking a quick look at the specs here. You can see over here we have the input, which is a USB-A, and then over here on number 2 we have a Type-C USB, 3 we have a micro USB, and 4 we have a Type-C output. Pin 5 is our communication switch. Pin 6 is our USB-A output monitoring. Basically, this is where you plug into the power. This is where you, the, you plug your load in. Then we have a touch switch here. We have our multifunction switch. And we have another micro USB port right there. 
It's good for 4 to 24 volts, 0 to 6.5 amps, up to 156 watts, which is uh, pretty good. Pretty good indeed. So here we're taking a look at the different pages. We have what they call the concise page, which just shows you the, the three main parameters. And then we have the record page. And this shows you here with different things that we can do. Long press the left button, switch to capacity power or consumption list. Click the middle button, start and stop the curve reading. Long press the middle button, restart the calculation. Long press the right button, enter battery capacity calculation tool. So you're definitely going to need to look at the manual when you do this because there are just so many functions available here. Now here we have the fast charge recognition page. And you can see the things we have here. Long press the left button, enter the fast charge trigger module. Click the middle button, start stop trigger timing. Long press middle button, prompt to clear it. And long press the right button, enter the charging tool menu. This is the curve display page, which is what we looked at earlier. And you can see a long press left button, uh, change your time base. Click the middle button, starts and stops it. Long press the middle button, switch modes. Long press the right button, time base plus. Now this is one I wasn't quite sure of, and one of the one main reasons I wanted to look this up was the wire resistance measurement page. It uses differential pressure. Remember the Chinese, when they talk about pressure, they're talking about voltage. So differential voltage to measure the internal resistance of a cable, which is simple. It's using Ohm's law. It's just a voltage drop over a known resistance. Click the middle button, use the current voltage and current value. So measurement procedure, connection mode, charger plus FM 40 b plus constant current load, and record the reference value. So basically you're going to put a wire in between the charger and this, and it's going to give you the uh, resistance. Let's, uh, let's give that a try. All right, so I've got a USB-C type cable on there, and you can see we are getting 0.0 between 0 0.06 and 0 0.08 ohms as it's measuring the resistance on there. So that, that's a nice useful function. It's a good way to check if your cables are going bad. You know, if you have a high resistance, then you definitely have a, a marker that your cable is going bad. Very, very cool. So here's the page on AliExpress, and this is from the, ori the or official Finerci uh, store. And you can see it costs between 30 and $37 to get one of these guys and uh, estimated delivery to the United States is April 11th. I think they're neat. I think they're simply the evolution of what we've had for the last few years. But you know, if you're a guy that works on a lot of USB stuff and you need some diagnostic tools, this might be right up your alley. All right. So I want to uh, thank Finerci for sending this out to us. I want to thank you guys for watching and uh, being part of the community. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.